Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example of how to calculate the torque. Here we can see we have a beam. We're pushing against the beam, but not at the end of the beam, at the halfway point. The angle that the beam makes with the horizontal, well, that's equal to theta. Let's put some numbers in there. Let's say that the force is equal to 100 newtons. The angle theta is equal to 60 degrees. And let's say the length of the beam is equal to, let's make it 2 meters. And we're trying to find the torque caused by that force. Notice that the line of action of the force is in this direction. If we now take a line and draw it from the pivot point to the line of action so that it reaches the line of action perpendicular to that line, that would be this line right here. This distance right here could be considered the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot point which means we can easily find the torque by writing the following equation. The torque is equal to the force applied to the beam times the perpendicular distance uh, from the line of action of force to the pivot point. Now, how do we find that perpendicular distance? We do it as follows. The torque is equal to the force times, now the perpendicular distance is one of the sides of this particular triangle. You can see here's a triangle, here's the the right angle, 90 degree angle. Notice that this is the hypotenuse, which is half the length of the beam, L over 2. This here is, well, let's see here. We have the angle theta here. Then we have another angle. Let's call this angle phi. If the angle theta is 60 degrees, then phi must be 90 minus 60 degrees, or 30 degrees. That means that phi is equal to 90 degrees minus theta, which is 90 degrees minus 60 degrees, which is 30 degrees. And we can then find the perpendicular to this D by taking the hypotenuse, L divided by 2, times the cosine of the angle phi. The cosine of phi, because it would be, this is the adjacent side to this angle, when that's the hypotenuse. So now we can go ahead and find the torque. The torque is equal to the force, which is 100 newtons, times half the length. The length is 2 meters. We divide that by 2, and then we have to multiply times the cosine of phi, which is 30 degrees, the cosine of 30 degrees. Now, when we plug that into a calculator, well, 2 divided by 2, that would be 1, 100 times the cosine of 30, which is 0.866, that would be, mean that the torque is equal to 86.6 newton meters. That's the magnitude of the torque. Now what about the direction? Notice that this force would cause the beam to rotate in a counterclockwise direction if that, that was only force acting on it, which means that the torque is counterclockwise, which means that it's a positive torque. Now, this is the magnitude of the torque. If you want to write it with a sign, then you can say that the torque as a vector form is equal to a positive 86.6 Newton meters in the positive z direction. And that's how you write it as a vector form, and this is how you write it simply in terms of its magnitude. And that's how it's done.